Well, even though I came back to play this level a full day later, the magic smoke from touching the save book was still hanging around. What kind of cauldron can't be flipped over? Fucking useless. Excellent! A sponge of reptiles! <laughs> you did it! Perfect. Careful now. Right! Oh no! The door closed! Well, there's got to be a way out. What? <laughs> Who keeps a dragon statue up here? Flying around up here, you begin to realize how short some of these music loops are. Seriously, listen. And that's the entirety of this loop, about 17 seconds long, so you'll hear this several times even after only a few minutes. Oh no, whoa, I thought it was gonna fall off. Nice one, Hermione. You opened the door, but it's too high for me to reach. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think this particular piece of music is nice. I like all the music in these games, actually, but... Really? 17 seconds? I guess it's not too big of a deal, especially since the gameplay is decent enough that you remain focused on that rather than having your mind wander elsewhere. Does that help? Perfect. Hold tight. I'll see what's in there. <laughs> I bet another Spongebob tile slides out from under there. Damn! What the fuck? More than half a dozen of those evil faces just pop up out of nowhere. In fact, how are they getting here if Hogwarts has anti-apparate spells placed on the castle and its grounds? I know there's different kinds of magic, such as elf magic and goblin magic. I don't know if that's enough of a loophole to get around the anti-apparate stuff that was probably placed at Hogwarts with the goal of keeping out only human wizards and witches in mind. In fact, doesn't Dobby disappear from the Hogwarts infirmary after visiting Harry and giving him more warnings while he's growing his bones back in the second year? Yep, I knew that was a Spongify tile after all. Damn it. I wanted to do that thing where I cast Spongify from far enough away so I can bounce from tile to tile. A lot of good that did. Now we're both stuck in here. Why would Hermione think that they're both stuck in here when there's literally a door with only two locks behind her? And she's supposed to be the smart one. Uh. She's also been here for a few minutes, too, so surely she would have looked at the door hoping to cast Alhamor and thought, Oh, there's two locks instead of one. Any more pixies hiding? The music is still going. Oh, guess not. How convenient. Well, I'm glad I checked that cauldron. But none of that soft transfiguration music when I take control of the bunny this time. Nope, just the same short music loop again and again and again. If there was a pumpkin behind me there, then I probably missed something else behind me on the upper level too. Oh well. How does that even work? The bunny is heavy enough to push down on the button, but the mound of dirt isn't? Does anyone ever get to see a Hermione skirt when she's flying around like that? We'll get you out of there. Yeah, we'll get you out of there. Just let me collect a few cheap food items to trade for collector's cards first. Okay, now we can rescue you. Was 
was Buckbeak not chained up in there either? And finally, different music. I think I counted out 15 and a half times that the previous music loop had played itself over the past few minutes. Wait here, Hermione. I'll go and see if it's time to rescue Sirius. Be careful, Harry! Okay, again, I have to notice the Still inconsistency the here with regards to voice time. acting in the sense Harry, that in this Harry scene, Harry is making an effort to keep his voice the down, the but Hermione sort of half yells out to him as he goes on to witness the Dementor fight. Had his father come to help him? Had James Potter cast the spell that saved Harry's life? And then Harry understood. He hadn't seen his father. He had seen himself. Expect to explode him! Though of course I get to fight the easiest in-game boss ever a second time. Seriously, all you do is hold the mouse button down for a few seconds, release, turn to the side a bit to aim at the next one, and repeat a few times. I'm actually curious how long you would have to stand still before they get within reach of you. I do like the Dementors in the background, though. It's a good-looking effect. I thought I hit this one, though. Are the Dementors screaming every time I beat the innermost circle of them? I can't imagine they would make any noises like that. I think all they've done here to make this more challenging as you go on is to simply add one more Dementor each time a new circle of them surrounds you. Hold the fuck up! What's going on behind Harry's shoulder there? It's like a Dementor dildo is bending itself over and penetrating Harry through the chest. Seriously, what the fuck is that supposed to look like? And more importantly, they forgot to remove those entities from the background before the shot in the scene happened? It's not like all the other Dementors are still hovering around in a misty circle. Jesus Christ, guys. I knew I could do it this time because I'd already done it. Does that make sense? Harry, we've got to rescue Sirius from the tower and get back to the hospital wing before anybody realizes we're missing. Right. Let's go. Oh, so you guys are capable of whispering after all. Serious, you'd better go. They'll be here any moment. Quick, go! How can I ever thank? Go! We'll see each other again. You are truly your father's son. I'm pretty sure Buckbeak would have accidentally kicked the stone wall at the top of this tower by taking off like that. of Sirius Black's escape spread throughout the school like wildfire. No one seemed to know how he had managed it. Harry, Rod, and Hermione kept what they knew to themselves. Besides, it was the day of their final exams, 
And not all of the friends were well prepared. I don't know how you're possibly going to pass your exams, Ron. You've hardly studied a thing. Me? What about you? You spent all that time researching Buckbeak's defense. Please, Ron, give me some credit. I used the time turner to study, of course. I'm aiming for perfect marks. She's always got an answer, doesn't she? Bad news, Ron. Your car pair attractive exam is first. We'd better head up to Professor Lupin's classroom. Shall we take the portrait shortcut to the third floor? Or the stairway? One thing about episodes that have a lot of in-game dialogue, it's less work for me to come up with shit to say. This girl could cosplay as Misty from Pokemon if she moved that ponytail from the back of her head to the side. Sounds good. I'll buy it. Cheers, Harry! Do you collect cards? I Again, with the do you collect cards line. This only makes what? sense if you approach a student for the first time. After you. that, certain lines should just be off limits. Like, I don't know how hard it is to program things, but hey, you couldn't you have a couple of lines reserved for first time introductory encounters and have the software not reuse them for that student ever again until the map is reloaded? Since every time the map is loaded, the game randomizes the appearance of the NPCs for each location that they're stationed at. I know that's a minor thing, but still. I put a rare one for sale. All right. Look at Ron. He can't just walk up to his final exam by himself for some reason, so he's just pacing around with a blank expression on his face like, I swear to God, Harry, I'll stick this wand up your asshole and carpe retract the shit out of you. Nobody's watching me, right? Oh, except for Hermione and Kasumi over there. Fancy buying a collector's card, Harry? Eh, I doubt he wants to go to his final exam anyways. Can you imagine, though, for his final exam, Ron says to Professor Lupin, Hey, look what I can do with this spell. And proceeds to fix whatever constipation problem someone might have. That'd be fucking hilarious. I'll buy it. See you next time. I've lost track of how many cards I've purchased from this girl. This is insane. Great, it's a deal. Cheers, Harry. She still has more? I really wish I could just see a list of whatever she has in her inventory and just select whatever I want. And it shows me a total cost at the bottom so I can bulk purchase at once. I know I said all this in an earlier episode, but this is just absurd. God, the visuals, the music, the overall atmosphere of this game really is quite good. For the most part, anyways. I know I complain about everything, but I do genuinely enjoy this game. I was looking through my game several months ago to see what would make a good candidate for a YouTube series, and when I picked this one and played it, it just reopened the whole Harry Potter world for me again. And I read all seven books over the course of a couple of months while putting this on hold and deciding to do the first two games as well, and I just thoroughly enjoyed myself during that time. Then I decided that I should read the books yet again, and also watch the movies too, since I haven't really watched Order of the Phoenix and onwards. Although once I catch up with the first three movies and books, I'll need to pace myself and only read and watch The Goblet of Fire before starting work on that series. I shouldn't get too far ahead of myself, or else the details of the source material won't be as fresh in my mind. And speaking of things being fresh in my mind, I don't know why I was running around like this when I was recording back then. I think I was trying to do something that I wasn't able to recreate again, but when I played this years ago, I would occasionally see a glitch where Ron and or Hermione either get left behind accidentally, or they charge up the staircase fast enough and fall off the end, only to instantly reappear on the staircase again. Well, seriously though, I should get to the Carpe Retractum final exam. Oh, Ron, you silly goose. Alright, here we are. 